this is Scrapping Amy and welcome back to One Mommy Scrapping. Today I have a two page layout to share with you of my daughter, nephew, and my dad making Christmas cookies last year. This video in particular is for the Victoria Marie YouTube Masterclass Hop. I have two videos for that hop to share with you today. I have links to all of the wonderful videos down below, the channels of the ladies in this class, so please check them out, like, comment, and subscribe. Today I am using an old Echo Park collection that apparently I have loose sheets of, but um, I had never actually opened up the collection pack. So it's Everybody Loves Christmas, it's from 2009, and that blue sheet there is cut in half, so clearly I have used it for something, although I don't know what. So I'm cutting the branding strips off my background paper. Because I had some extra sheets of this, I ended up with two of some of them. So, happily, I had two of that pretty green, tiley looking background. I cut the blue into two three-inch strips to go across the top. This I didn't do as many layers as I normally do. But I have kind of like a, a I don't know, block design, I guess you'd call it. I'm using Vintage Photo to ink with since this has a more cream-based look to it instead of the white, so I'm using my brown. I really like that light blue because it has little tiny polka dots of all of the colors in this collection. In addition to having two, you know what? Um, no, I was sudden thinking why I might have two of these, but that's not why. Never mind. <laughs> I've also got two of these sticker sheets. And so again, perfect, because now I have two of these really pretty green border strips. I'm going to be incorporating red into it as well. So I'm keeping with the green and the red with hints of blue and pink throughout it. I have, so I'm setting up my four photos from left to right, top to bottom. They're in the order that they're happening. So there's measuring, well, they're not there. I'm gonna flip them. Measuring the ingredients, mixing the batter, cutting the cookies, and then decorating before they bake. So I'm using one of my favorite Christmas motifs right here, which is peppermint. I love peppermint and snowflakes. If I could have all my Christmas stuff like that, it would be perfect. And I am pulling in more of the peppermint as well. There is, which when I was starting to do it, I was like, oh, I don't know about this red on red, which is why I flipped over and had that pretty hexagon background, which looks like polka dots on the screen, to be honest. But I decided to go ahead with the peppermint, um, the little starlight candies. You can only end up seeing them on the far left side, which is where the title will eventually go because of how I do some other things. And even at the bottom where you have the red and white stripes next to the red pepper, starlight peppermint background, I even managed to kind of break that up. And in actuality, you only see about three or four millimeters of the red on red by the time I am done putting everything down. So this one I only had one of because it was from the alphabet sheet, which I only had one from specifically from the collection pack. So it was perfect to go across. That's a full 12 by 12 width with the um, Starlight Peppermints. There I was just showing Miranda we were live chatting <laughs> while we were making layouts together. So here I'm incorporating some of the green. It's just a circular pattern on here. You end up not seeing much of it at all, to be honest with you. Um, the problem with having two, essentially two four by six photos next to each other side by side is that, that those two sixes add up together to get to your 12. So I ended up trimming down about a half, or no, about a quarter inch, I think, of the photos that are on the right page. That gave me just enough space to ha give it the border that I wanted. There is a bit of a green border in um, in the center, the gutter there. So the photos don't touch each other when they're not in the page protector, which is what I wanted. And you can see right there, now I've got a lot of green over that red. So at this point, you only see the red stripes against the red starlight mints on the left side. That tiny smidge you see at the very bottom section of the right page is the only part that's actually left visible. So I'm pulling out the 
letter sheet and I'm pulling in, I was originally planning on doing the red words and brown words and kind of mixing it up, but I decided to stick with the blue because I had so much blue on the top. I wanted to incorporate it in some more places. So the title ends up being Baking Cookies with Granddad and Baking and With being more of the unimportant words, so to speak, in the title. Um, I put those in the tile letters. And then this particular collection kit has something which I'm not a huge fan of, but it works every once in a while. All of the letters are different. They're different colors. They're different fonts. They're different sizes. So I kind of place things, as my mother-in-law would put it, wappy jawed, you know, kind of back and forth. I'm trying to make sure I don't get two of the same colors next to each other, and if possible, not two of the same font next to each other. And looking at it, I think overall I did it. I think the K and the I in cookies might be technically the same font. And I have there what my sister calls my sticker spoon. It's my Cricut spatula for uh, taking die cuts up. I don't have a Cricut, but <laughs> it's the only Cricut tool I actually own. Now this has, I think it's a bird on it, but I didn't want the bird in the bottom right corner, so I just tucked it under the photo. And here's where you see I'm going to end up covering that red on red again. It has these two trees. So I pull the larger one is going to be flat. And then I'm putting the smaller one up on dimensional adhesive to get a little bit um, of variety in there. So everything's not so flat. I enjoy using sticker sheets when I don't have die cuts and then taking the sticky off the back, essentially, and using them as die cuts. And for some reason, I didn't pull my bowl down to put all my stickers on. I just stuck them on my ATG. <laughs> I used to do that quite a bit, actually. So I've got two of the snowmen now. They're going up at the top above the word baking. And it's going to be the same thing. This time, the larger one is up on foam and the smaller one lays flat. I wanted the larger one on foam because of the hat being blue. I wanted that little bit of shadow to appear um, against the blue background. I thought it, I didn't think it would work quite as well. And here is the little tiny bird, which is essentially the bird that I stuck under the photo, just larger. <laughs> so I'm going to layer him up. And I like the position he is in here too. The way he's kind of turning, and has his head towards the journaling card, which I actually do write on, just not in the video. And then I had to include this penguin. My daughter's favorite animal is a penguin. So anytime there are winter layouts, usually a penguin somehow ends up on there at some point. And again, up on adhesive or foam adhesive. Um, so I have two different depths of adhesive foam. I have a flatter one from a roll and then I have some larger dots that are up higher. So that lets me um, layer things still on foam, but then one under the other. Uh, for instance, I'm going to put the uh, last light blue snowflake there. It goes underneath the penguin, but it's not actually touching the penguin since it's still raised up, but not as high. So I love having the different depths of foam. I think that's really important. It wouldn't quite fit because of how I have other foam under the penguin, so I just snipped off the part that you're not going to see. I'm looking around deciding I am done with all of that. So I'm using my Nouveau Drops. The pink is Bubblegum Blush. The red is Red Berry. The light green I'm about to use is Apple Green. The darker green is Woodland Green. And finally, I have Calming Aqua. I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the links to the other ladies in this hop. This was a wonderful class. I cannot recommend it enough, especially if you are starting out and wanting to grow your channel as a YouTuber. So, uh, still shots are coming up next, and I will see you guys later. Have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you.